Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with layout 4 for How to Kill a Kit with Style, February 2019. Today I am doing a paper issues challenge called I'm with Cupid. Ideally, this would be a Valentine's Day page. I don't have any Valentine's Day pictures, but they did say you could use anything revolving around love, using hearts, etc. So I'm going to take an opportunity to scrapbook a page with me and Bennett. This is a very photo heavy layout, so <laughs> multi-photo people should be happy. <laughs> Um, I'm just getting my background together. I know that those four smaller photos, those are three by fours, are going across the entire bottom and are going to span the entire page. So I am just going to save a strip of that background geometric by putting some cheap black paper behind there instead so that I wouldn't be wasting it since it would be covered anyways. So I'm just getting all of those photos stuck down. I had these photos gridded, but there were a few that you were either repeats of ones on other pages or ones I didn't need to use, so I'm just piecing a few that I did want to use over top of them. <laughs> and then I'm just going to separate them with this um, border piece. I pieced two pieces of that together so that it would span the whole 12 by 12, so I'm just getting that put down. My last page I didn't use any craft. And I know right away on this page I want to use that circular to the moon chipboard piece um, that was in my kit. So I'm making sure I'm pulling in both craft and maroon because those are very heavy on that die cut and I want to make sure it doesn't look out of place. <laughs> so I'm just, I pulled in all my craft things maroon so that I would know what I have to work with. Right now I'm trying to get the little area on the bottom of that page put down and I just thought I needed something so I did just die cut a heart from some of the maroon pattern papers. I just had that little scrap there. And I think this little cluster on the bottom is my favorite part of this whole page. <laughs> I find when you do uh, multi-photo layouts you are a little bit restricted as far as design goes just because it doesn't leave you with a whole lot of room to do things. So that little area was probably the most designy thing I did on this whole page to be honest, but I think it looks cute. I just used a scrap of that Work It pocket card, um, that a scrap of a scallop circle I had, I cut a banner, I did that die cut heart, and then I used that little die cut piece that came in the, the uh, kit that just says respect your selfie. <laughs> Bennett I think was only a week and a half in these photos and it was when um, it was the first time we took selfies where he would actually like look at the camera. <laughs> so I think it was funny. I think this is the first time he really like saw himself reflected back in something. I think he was too young at that. I'm not really sure about how quickly babies and what ages they recognize things, but I know he was definitely too young to really understand what was going on. I don't, I think it was maybe just the movement, <laughs> but um, it was just funny. It was the first time he kind of looked at my phone and was like, that's doing something weird <laughs> but um i am just using another one of those craft pockets because I, i'm trying to get those used up as well since i am using craft so i'm just going to layer that behind the photo i'm thinking i'm going to have a cluster at the top there with a the pocket card in that weekend die cut but that doesn't end up staying i'm just looking for a few pieces i can map my photo in I thought I needed something white just because the photos on the bottom do have a white border and that black geometric in the background has white on it. So I wanted to add a little bit more white in so the craft was balanced a little bit and it didn't look like the white was out of place. Um, but again, I'm doing a craft as well. So the craft is with the white so it makes it look like it's supposed to go together. <laughs> And I'm gutting the craft just because there's not a whole lot of craft left and I have a whole lot of craft die cuts left. So I'm trying to save the craft papers I can so that when I do need to try and use those die cuts, I have some other craft elements to go with them. Otherwise, I'm not really gutting the six by six papers. There we go. So I kind of get stuck here, but I know what my title is going to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that stuck down. I'm basically just using the To The Moon chipboard as the middle of my title, so I decided to use um, those chipboard uh, thickers that were in the kit and just call this Love You To The Moon and Back.
and then I noticed the love you was slightly longer than the and back and I didn't want to have to shift all the letters so that they would be um, <laughs> spaced evenly so I just added an exclamation point so that it would look right. <laughs> But now I'm kind of thinking that I, I like the photo uh, in line with the title, but there's that gap at the top of the page. So now I'm kind of starting to think about running something along the top of the page. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. I still think I need something by the photo, like a little extra layer of something that didn't go all the way around. Because right now there's a few square mats, but it just needs something else. Um, and because there wasn't a whole lot of maroon other than the little pieces in that cluster on the bottom and then the to the moon die cut, I just took some 6x6 six six maroon scraps and I'm just going to do this diamond punch on the top and bottom of the photo. It looks really hard to see in this video. It doesn't look so... <laughs> so busy um, in person, um, but that diamond print with the maroon over the black geometric looks really weird <laughs> in this overview video. So, And then what I decided to do, I only have craft uh, cardstock, I only have one piece, and I'm kind of trying to save it in case I need it to use as a background if, if I go through my 12x12s and still have some stuff left over. So I didn't want to use it for layering, but I did have a piece of a brown paper bag so I decided I would just use that as my craft element to go across the top of the page. So I just used my diamond border punch again, did that same punch along there, and I'm just going to run that across the top of my page. It adds some cool texture and it really does go with the other craft elements, so I thought it went pretty well. <laughs> but I'm just going through the other craft die cuts. I'm going to use that craft date. And I'm trying to see what else I can squeeze in, but I don't think I can really squeeze in anything else without it <laughs> starting to not make sense. I really thought I was going to use these maroon enamel dots that come in the kit, but the maroon that's in the enamel, it, it looks brown. It, it just looks, it looks weird next to <laughs> the other maroon. So it just was not matching once I started to look at them next to the page. But I did have some metallic brads left over from that last layout, so I decided I would use those like I would have used the enamel dots, and I really like how that hardware looks on the page. I don't think any of the brads match. They're just kind of a mixed match of the <laughs> metallic, bronzy colored ones. Um, but I like how that looks. It adds a little bit more texture. It still goes with the page, but the, the maroon enamel dots just weren't going to work, so I like this option a lot better. <laughs> but I think after that I'm done. Here are the close-ups. So a very simple page. Those uh, multi-photo layouts, I have a hard time with them sometimes, <laughs> um, but people have been asking for some multi-photo layouts, so here is my best shot at one. <laughs> Um, check out everyone else who's playing along. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.